Here are five excellent reasons why you should be using Godot as your game engine of choice. And the fact that it's 100% free and open source with no strings attached, you get complete ownership of your game, didn't even make the list. But don't take my word for it, here's a Godot expert who'll explain things a lot better than I can, introducing Khan, the Godot master. And Blender users, you need to look out for the first reason because that's pretty impressive. Take it away, Khan. Thank you, Grant. Let's start with the first reason, Blender Sport. I know that you guys love Blender and Godot has great support for it. In Godot 4, which is the latest version, you can simply drag Blend files into your project and import them. You can then edit your Blend files from Blender and Godot will pick up the changes when you save the project. It just works. Even animations are imported. This makes your Blender and Godot workflow really fast and seamless. Let's see this in action. Here I have a Godot project with a basic 3D scene that has a camera and a directional light. I also have this blend file, which is the model of an old guy. Now we're gonna take this blend file, import it into Godot and see what it looks like. Let's go back to Godot. I'm gonna bring the file in my file explorer. As you can see, we have this old guy.blend file. We're gonna drag this into our file system. Godot will import it. And once the import is finished, you will see the old guy.blend file inside of your file system. We can actually use this by dragging it into our scene. And as you can see, the model is imported. For some reason, when you first do this, the textures aren't applied. So we're gonna have to double click on the blend file here and click on re-import. Once you do that, everything should look fine. We can run the scene and you will see that the model is being shown correctly. The cool part is now we can go back into Blender and start making changes to this model. But when doing this, make sure to go into your project files and find the blend file there and click on that one. When you import the blend file, Godot creates a copy of it inside of your project folder. This is the one that we want to use. So we're gonna open that up and in here we can make some changes. For example, I'm gonna set the rotation to be 45. And once I save it and go back into Godot, Godot will automatically re-import it and apply the changes. As you can see, the model is tilted 45 degrees. So you can have a bunch of blend files inside of your scene, and then you can go into Blender, do your work, come back, and all of the changes will be carried into Godot. If we take a look at the blend file in Blender, I'm gonna set the rotation back to be 90. We also have an animation here. This is also carried into Godot. Let's save this and go back. Godot is going to carry over the changes, which is going to set the rotation back to the default value. To use the animation, we're gonna create an inherited scene of this blend file. We can do that by clicking on the scene icon here and saying new inherited. This will create a new scene for us, a new inherited scene. Let's save this. In here, we have an animation player. And if you click on it, you can see that the animation we had in Blender is carried over to here. Let's set this to be autoplay and go back into our test scene. Now we need to get rid of this old guy because this is still the blend file. I'm gonna delete this one and bring in the inherited scene from my file system. And as you can see, this one has the animation. Let's run the scene and you can see that the animation is playing. So this is how to use blend files in Godot. Historically, Godot is known as a really good engine for 2D games, but Godot 4 has a ton of new features that make Godot a solid choice for 3D games as well. Blender Sport being one of these. The second reason you should pick Godot is that it is extremely lightweight. In fact, many people are surprised that there isn't even an installation process. You simply download the zip file that has the executable in it. After unzipping, you double click on the exe and start using Godot. Likewise, project creation and opening times are also remarkably fast. This is definitely a breath of fresh air for people coming over from Unity, where it sometimes takes a little bit longer than it should to create a new project. Not to mention the hundreds of megabytes of space it takes even for a virtually empty project. If you'd like to learn Godot and learn how to code at the same time creating fun and exciting 2D games, then you need to check out Khan's new course. On sale now at the reduced price of $15, and the offer lasts until May the 1st, so check out the links in the description for the coupon code. The third reason you should use Godot is beginner friendliness. Godot uses building blocks called nodes, which you group together to create reusable scenes. You then use these scenes to create your game. 
Many people say that this way of making games is really intuitive and easy to learn. I know that this was the case for me when I was first learning Godot. It really felt much easier to get a grasp compared to other engines. Godot even has its own custom scripting language, which is going to be our next point. GDScript. The developers of Godot created their own language instead of taking a general use programming language and making it fit the engine. GDScript is a custom built scripting language made with game development in mind. The syntax is based on Python and it is really easy to learn and write code with it. There's a built-in text editor so that you don't have to leave the engine to edit your scripts. There is a sense of unity and harmony. The final reason on my list is the rising popularity of Godot. Godot is currently one of the most starred game engines on GitHub. It's been steadily getting bigger and bigger over the years, and more and more developers are starting to use it for commercial projects. The documentation is great, it has a wonderful community and extensive amounts of tutorials and courses online. And remember, at the end of the day, the engine is just a tool to make your game. Use whatever is the best for you, and that's it from me, take care. Thank you very much, Khan. So there you have it. I would say Godot is well worth a look. Happy game creating, and I'll see you next time.